So we're talking about ear pressure or plugging of the ear, sensations that affect the ear. One thing that uh, can be a problem is the eustachian tube. Now the eustachian tube goes from your inner ear, where you hear from your eardrum, all the way to the inside of your throat. The eustachian tube is an inch and a half long and for the most part remains collapsed. So this is a kind of a representation of eustachian tube and then your inner ear, eardrum on the outside. Okay, so this is the function of the eustachian tube. When the pressure builds up in the balloon, so when we actually put a little bit more pressure in here, the eustachian tube during a yawn, so a, a big yawn, will, little muscles, uh, tensor tympani, tensor villi palatini, will actually open up the eustachian tube and release some of the pressure, okay? Now, if we go up over a mountain pass or an airplane, this is what happens. We get a little bit of increased ear pressure. To pop our ears, to release that pressure, the eustachian tube releases that air. Now, the salva maneuver to try and clear or pop our ears is actually a positive pressure. So we actually hold our breath and plug our nose and try to blow. That actually will pop our ears. If that's not happening, then the eustachian tube is not functioning. Now the problem is you're actually forcing more air into the inner ear. Yawning or swallowing actually uses muscle activation to release that pressure, okay? Now if you have a constant plugging sensation, a uh, constant sensation of pressure in the ear and it's not going away, we look in the ear uh, with our otoscope and we don't see anything, everything looks okay, Possibly a tympanogram shows that there's a, a positive pressure or a negative pressure behind the eardrum. This is actually done in, in an audiologist or ENT's office. If that's the case, if it's not a virus, so if you have a cold and you get swelling on the eustachian tube, that's self-limiting. After about a week or two, it goes away and everything clears up. If it's persistent and your ear pressure continues, then there's probably a neck issue and these muscles are having difficulty working to open up that eustachian tube, okay? We can check the neck and see if there's a problem. So one of the tests that we do is actually poking right in behind, nice and gentle, to see if there's any pain right on the front of your neck and actually deep in behind your jawbone. If there's more tension on that side compared to the other side, and that's where your plugging is at, there's probably a problem with the neck affecting the eustachian tube. Most eustachian tube dysfunctions that we see, if they're not viral, typically come from the neck and there's treatment. There is definitely hope.